Good morning. Welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum here with some words of wisdom to start your day off well. And I'm a few minutes earlier than usual, but I've got packing to do and assorted other things before we head over to the conference venue. And uh, I think we're done about two o'clock today and then we'll be headed back. So tomorrow I should be in my own digs again. So again, same deck because I only brought one with me. <laughs> so it's the Sacred Forest deck by Denise Lynn. So let's start as always with some breath. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Just breathing deeply and easily in through the nose out through the mouth. And again, those of you who've been doing this with me for quite some time, usually the first breath or two, you should begin to feel that settling feeling of, oh, your body saying, I get this. We've done this every morning for however many mornings. So fabulous. Welcome. Good morning, Cindy. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. We'll see how many others pop on as we go. I'm a few minutes early. Um, but again, the breathing piece is so important, so underrated, so not valued, but so important. Whatever's going on in your world, if you add some breath to it, it's going to be a whole lot easier to deal with. And if it's good stuff, it really helps bring you into the present moment so you can enjoy it more. How cool is that? So, good morning, Carolyn. Welcome. Glad you found me a few minutes early. Awesome, awesome. So, I can't overemphasize how important the breath is and how most of us pay it woefully short shrift. So, a few more breaths. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. All right. And again, our deck is the Sacred Forest deck. Love that image. Could get lost in there. That would be a cool thing. Denise Lynn. And our card for today, as with yesterday's card, this is a card we've seen recently. And again, the odds of pulling this same card aren't that great. So we want to pay attention. We want to pay attention to those unusual things that happen in our day. Stag spirit, leadership, leadership. And this is a good example of leadership because it's a different kind of leadership. It's still a, a prey animal, not a predator, and still can have the grace and the the um, centeredness. Good morning, Gwen. Glad you're here. Welcome. Um, so let's just kind of read, see what we get. I'll leave the card up because it talks about it. Stag spirit leadership. A majestic stag stands atop a mossy knoll. His nobility and grace are palpable. You can see fog form around his nostrils with his every exhalation. So are you, let's do your exhalation. And another inhale. Awesome, good, good, good. He does not need to announce his might. Simply and utterly, he is powerful without words or proclamation. You know those people, when they walk in a room, everybody kind of looks, you feel their presence maybe before you see them. In many traditions, the elusive and mysterious white stag is considered king of the forest. With his noble antlers and his proud stance, he carries a commanding energy. This card is calling you to claim leadership for your life. So think about that. If you lead nothing else, claiming leadership for your life. Interesting concept, right? Now is the time to step out of the shadows and become a beacon for others. Don't allow anyone or anything to dim your light. If someone is attempting to dim your light, what does that say about them? That they haven't moved themselves forward enough to tolerate, accept, allow, support your brilliance? Hmm. You may be asked to take on a position of authority. Even if you have been in the background in the past, this is your time to step up and shine. And position of authority doesn't mean you have to be standing on a stage leading people through yelling, whatever. It can be 
you're the reference point. Good morning, Janine. Glad you are here. You're the reference point for other people to hearken back to. And hopefully from that reference point, you're empowering and encouraging them, good morning, Joniel, to step into their wisdom and their power, right? To me, being a leader isn't stripping other people of their power, their authority, their um, dominion over themselves. It's supporting that, supporting that. Remember that a leader isn't necessarily defined by age, status, or income. A true leader is someone who is commanding, passionate, and motivating. Now notice all, all things are represented there. Divine masculine, divine feminine, and the blend of both. Commanding, passionate, motivating. How cool. They have a vision and are able to make decisions with clarity and strength. The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve and act as stepping stones for others to reach their dreams. As Jim Rohn used to say, one of the best ways to help others achieve, help yourself achieve your dreams is helping others achieve their dreams. You empower others simply by being who you are and who you are is enough. There's that word again, enough. And I know at least one of you has taken that word on as your word for the year. Enough. I am enough. I do enough. I have enough. All of those enoughs. Especially though, I am enough. Are you willing to step into the light and be a leader for others? In European folklore, a white stag signified extraordinary adventures. In others, the stag is a fairy beast that represents a quest for spiritual wisdom. These themes may appear in your life in the near future, or they may have already popped up and you're working on them, right? The spirit of the stag says, you inspire others to greater heights. Step into leadership in your life. You are a beacon for others. Shine in your own life. Be gentle with yourself and others. However, do not play small. There's that Marianne Williamson quote again. You are a divine child of God, no less than the stars in the trees. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. Good morning, Barb. And if you're playing small to make others more comfortable, aren't you letting them off the hook? Good morning, Cheryl. Welcome. Wouldn't it be better to challenge them to grow also? rather than stagnate where they're at? Just an idea. Be gentle with yourself and others, however, do not play small. Take action, this is your time, step up. And that taking action part, again, what that means is each step along the way, you're gonna be guided, you're gonna be guided, but it's paying attention to the guideposts that are there. Thank you, Cindy, for posting today's card. I appreciate that. Pay attention to what's around you. Again, if you're moving too fast, good morning, Deb. Glad you're here. Haven't seen you in a bit. Good morning, Mel. If you are speeding past life as fast as you can, good morning, Beth. Slow down. Slow down. We need to find that quiet space to hear the guidance, the direction that we're meant to be going. Sometimes make a conscious effort to do that. Okay, spirit, What's next? What's my next step? Give me some guidance. I'm open to receiving. And go about your day and see what pops up. You may get a phone call from somebody offering an idea. You may um, hear some words on the radio. A certain song may play. You may feel compelled to drive to a certain place that you've never gone before. Whatever it is, heeding those inner guidances, just being attuned to your own alignment and following, all right? So that is our card for today, leadership. What's your brand of leadership? What's your kind of leadership? And you may say, well, I'm retired. I don't have to be a leader anymore. This card is calling you to step into leadership. It, again, it doesn't mean you have to take on a whole committee, whatever. It might just mean you begin offering more of your opinion. That can be leadership. So for you, and I'd love to see in the feed, what do you got going on for leadership right now? And what do you think might be some opportunities coming your way in terms of leadership within your own life? Have an awesome day. See you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.